Okay, so this is what we accomplished on this week's video. Stay tuned and see exactly what these parts are and how they came together. Alright, we're going to start out by assembling the gluing guide that comes with the with my dollhouse kit. This is actually the last page of the instruction book. And what they've done is they have created a really nice little <clears throat> guide for putting together the porch railing. Which I thought was a pretty clever idea on their part. So, because usually when I do something like this, I... Um, make a jig to do it which maybe sometime in another project I'll show you how to do I may have already shown you on another project I don't know you simply cut this apart and you line it up I'm gonna have to pull this over here where I can see it I know you guys probably can't see it as well but <clears throat> Not sure why I cut that big a piece of tape. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm coughing today. All right. Now, this is going to be one of those times when I'm not following the directions precisely. I am. They suggest priming the railings and the balusters prior to gluing together but to keep paint off of the tips and out of the channel in the baluster, in the railings. I am going to do this by gluing it together and then doing the priming after. This is a small enough piece that I feel I can do that and not have problems. I think I'll have fewer problems by priming after gluing. So, we'll see if this comes back to bite me when I get done. Let me go get the pieces we need for this, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna, I'm going to make three runs of, stair, of porch railing. Two short ones and one long one. For the video, I am going to just do the one short one to show you how it works. And then off camera, I'll do the others. Otherwise, this video is going to be like a million hours long, okay? So I have laid down a piece of parchment paper on my table to protect my table today because it's a small area I'm working on. I have my railings and I have my balusters. I have a piece of strip wood that will help me to support the center. I have glue off to the side. And I'm going to be putting these, dipping them in glue, and then putting them in to there. And then I'm going to let it set up for a little bit and then put the other end on. So, dip. I decided not to do the priming of this first, mainly because I think it's going to be easier this way for me. Um, yeah, I know the experts that wrote the instructions said to do it that way. Like I said before, I don't always follow the directions because this is not my first dollhouse. This is my first MDF dollhouse. I can't see what I'm doing and have it where you guys can see it. There. Okay. I do like this little little thing they've got here. This is pretty cool. So it's simply a matter of doing that. Come on, let's go in the hole. Laying it on there. Off camera, I'm going to double check that I'm straight because it's hard for me from this angle to make sure I am. But I'm trying to give you guys the front row seat. And I'm trying to do this from a kind of a secondary position. 
All right. Oh. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to make sure everything is straight. I'm going to get the other three pieces up to this step, and then I'll come back and we'll put the top on. Oh, all right. I've got the other two rails put together. It was pretty easy. I figured out a few tricks along the way. Be sure to work so you're working towards yourself. Um, so I turned after I turned the camera off, I turned around and started working that way so I could see what I was doing. I'm going to put the last one in. Clean up all the glue along here. You don't want any big balls of glue at the base down there. And I'm just using a tool. This is, is the bamboo skewer that I used to stir my paint with last week. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of my glue on the end of each one of these pieces. Then I'm going to line this up so that everything is lined up the same. By starting it on the table, now I've got my ends lined up. Then one of these at a time, you're going to have to kind of wiggle it around till it goes down in that slot and it's in. And why does it look crooked? Is that straight? According to my diagram, it is straight, so that's all there is to it. I'm going to let this glue completely dry at least overnight. Uh, it'll probably be It'll probably be uh, not tomorrow, but the next day in real time when I do the priming coat on this, simply because I have to work tomorrow. So I'm going to let these dry, and then I'll come back, and we'll paint. All right, the glue has had a couple of days to dry. This is Tuesday afternoon, and I filmed the gluing part of it on Sunday. So let's start priming. And this is, I cleaned up the glue on the edges before it dried, so they look nice. So let's get it primed. So we're using the same primers we used on the foundation. And I am going to start with a kind of small brush. Normally I would use a foam brush, but I can't get a foam brush into these spots for the detail. So we're going to prime. We're priming so that the paint, when we go to put our paint on, it will look nicer. I'm just going to, I'll prime one on camera and then I'll do the rest off and then I'll come back. I'm going to do one side and then I'll let the first side dry and I'll do the second side. So we'll do all of one side first. But it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just painting. Nothing, nothing difficult about this. All right, so that's all there is to it. I am going to go ahead and prime the rest of these, and then I'll be back. All right, in the length of time it took to paint all of those, it, this is drying up. I can turn it over and do the other side. Primer, that's another really big advantage of primer. It dries so much faster than your regular paint. Um, it's so nice. It's a really light coat and it just, it seals the wood. It seals it not only from the paint soaking, your good paint soaking in, it seals it from any stuff that might come up out of the wood. Wood being a, wood can have stuff that seeps up and stains your paint. Also, wood can, can drink up a lot of your expensive paint when you go to paint. So we're just doing this all over. Not sure how much of the background noise I'm hearing in my background is going through the camera, but where I live now is an apartment, and my apartment's on the end right next to the parking lot. 
So if you hear a lot of car tire noises in the background, that's why. There's always somebody coming and going. So I don't know if, because the other day when I, when I filmed, there weren't so many people coming and going. For some reason, this place gets really busy on weekdays. All right, I am going to paint these spots, and then I'll turn the camera off, I'll finish these up, and I'll come back when everything is dry. And actually, probably when I come back will be when we make the porch post bases. So let me get this done, and then so I will talk to you when we start constructing those. All right, we are going to start assembling the porch uh, post bases that go on the front porch. So I've got the parts for the center one right here. It has four parts. It has two post base sides, a quarter inch material, an eighth inch thick post base front, and then an eighth inch piece that is called a porch post base back. I'll get myself some tape so that I'm ready to go. Because I'm going to glue and tape this. All right, so we put the front down. And this one also, these I am going to prime after they're put together. Um, the, probably the only thing I'm going to prime first will be the big flat pieces because they will be easier to do when they are flat. All right. And I'm just using the bamboo skewer that I used to uh, stir my paint with, the other, my primer with the other day. I am using that to apply my glue, mainly because I can't get the glue bottle to open correctly today. Okay, put that on there. And I'm going to lay it down for a second. I like the glue to sit for just a second. It gets a little more tacky if it sits. And I'm sticking my hand right in the glue. Figures. All right. Now, I'm going to put these line up. They're lined up at the top and the sides. You don't want too much glue, but you want enough that it does squish out a little bit. If you don't have enough glue that it at least a little squishes out, you probably haven't filled the joint up. I've got working time on this glue so I don't have to rush. And I'll go back with a damp paper towel and wipe this, the excess glue off here in a little bit. All right, now, I'm going to pick this up and make sure everything is lined up the way I want it. If you do have a little gap, you can use wood filler to fix that. And I'll show you how to do that when we get to doing our finish. The finish I'm going to use on these, on the foundation and these post bases is going to cover up a lot of faults too. I have a, something really fun we're gonna do. And I just managed to squeeze that. All right. 
think I'm better off not messing with it now. Make sure that's lined up correctly. I am just going to let that be. Now, we are going to do the two, the end ones. Now, the end post bases are opposite of each other. So we need a back for each one, and we need one of these on each one. One goes on this side, and one goes this way. And then we have sides like that. this one out of the way so I can get these up there. Now this is important. When we're doing this, we want to make sure that these are opposites, that they're mirror images of each other. Because if they're not, they're not going to work. Put this on down. And of course I laid that right down in the glue. It's okay, I'll put that on the inside. It won't matter. Like I said, the finish I'm going to use is going to be very forgiving. Now you could cover these, you can make them look like stone, you can make them look like poured concrete, you can make them look like brick. I mean these would look nice covered in a brick. That would be really cool too. image done. And then all this glue has to dry. And then we are going to, then I will be priming. And these, I'm not only going to prime, I'm going to put a base coat of paint on them that will match their exterior finish. But I want to wait until they're put onto the porch to, um, I think I'm going to wait anyway till I put them on the porch to put the final coat on them. I think. I'll have to read through the directions to make a final decision. I'm lining up that edge as best as I can. Always interesting with a camera in my way. I'm trying to keep my head out of view, the line of view for the camera and still being able to see what I'm doing. It's a battle I still have not won. And how many years have I been doing videos? Seems like forever now. Hopefully this week's video is better than last week's. Last week, I admit, I was very out of practice. But hopefully it will all come back as I go. Let's head and do this. That. Now, I should have brought a wet towel. Now, this is our backs for here. And this one goes this way, and then one goes this way. And I don't, it says to tape, but I don't, with this glue I'm finding, I really don't need to tape. It's not, this is not sliding. Once I get to the construction of the shell of the dollhouse, We'll do t more taping. But I'm noticing for this, this glue, I'm really impressed with this glue. This Gorilla Wood glue is really, it's a really good product. The only Gorilla glue I would not use is their standard, just regular Gorilla glue because it does um, expand when it dries. But this and their super glue, I really like. Their, their super glue has become my favorite. All right, now. What are these called? The post base back end. 
get everything lined up, unstick it from the uh, paper. Ready? I'll get this one. And as I said earlier, although that was in a different clip, these are going to have to dry and then I will be doing some priming on them after the glue is completely dried. So I will see you when it's time to prime these. Alright, so here are our post bases for our porch posts. The three different ones, the left, right, and center. And the glue is dried. This is because I actually filmed the last part on Sunday. This is Tuesday. So they've had a couple of days to dry. And that glue dries pretty good. I It's fairly clear. I'm not going to worry about sanding off. But I was off a little bit on a couple of spots. It's a little indented there. I didn't get that edge quite lined up. Same with right there. This one, that one seems to be fine. These two, I was off a little bit. So we're gonna use spackle. This is actually lightweight spackle from the Dollar Tree. So if you've got a Dollar Tree, this stuff is decent. And it's a dollar for that, that little tub. It will last you quite a while. So we're just going to use this to kind of even out those spots where I was a little off. And because of the paint finish, the finish I'm going to use on this, it's not as important, but I want to get it as smooth as I can. And this will wash right off your fingers. It's a, it's a product that washes up, cleans up with soap and water. The side there just a little bit, kind of fill in that little that little groove I left. That looks better. Same thing right here. Kind of the same spot on both of them that I had a little trouble lining up. That'll make it a little less noticeable. So we are going to let that dry and then we'll be back and we will paint our primer. It should just take a little while to dry. All right, the uh, spackle is all dry. I have done a light sanding. I just use an emery board because I once again forgot to buy sandpaper when I went to town. So I don't have sandpaper. So I am just going to, I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'll do one part of one and then I'll finish them off off camera and come back. I'm just using a brush. Normally I would use a foam brush, but I don't have one. I used my last one the other day and I haven't had a chance to get to a store. I thought I had a whole package when I went to the dollar store last time and I went to dig them out today and it was there was a package there. It was an empty package. So we are just going to I'm just going to do this on all three of these and then I will be back. All right. It's actually a couple of days later. I decided as I was getting ready to edit this video to add in the porch posts to this video rather than next week because next week we're going to do a little more stuff. So the porch posts each have three parts. We have a piece of one by one that I think it was five inches long. That's our porch post. We have the porch port post cap base and we have the post cap. And I'll show you how this is going to kind of go together. So what we're going to do, this will sit here, these are our porch bases, and then this sits on top, and then this sits on top of that. So these are going to be done with one finish, and these are going to be painted my trim color. So let's assemble these porch posts so that we can get them primed and ready to go later. And one thing I am going to do since I will be painting this, and this part's going to show. 
I want to make sure I erase, even though I'm going to prime over it, I'm going to erase that mark. And one thing I have found over the years, um, if you can find a white eraser, white erasers seem to leave less of a mess when you're erasing pencil than um, pink erasers. So we need to make sure these are centered on these pieces. So to do that, I am going to put my pencil in the corner and draw a line. That bow and that did not quite go to the corner. So let's start over. This may prove to be more difficult than I anticipated for the video. I may have to move this and show you what I did after the fact. Um, okay, that's pretty good. So I'm going to make a line, a diagonal line, on each one of these from corner to corner, two lines that will meet in the middle. Then I'll be able to line these up a little easier. So let me turn the camera off, get the other three marked, and then I'll be back and show you how this goes together. All right, I've got these all marked now. Um, so what I need to do, I'm going to kind of fit it. I'm actually going to do these first. So these need to be centered. And what we need to do is we need to make sure our corners of our wood are meeting up with our lines that we drew. That way we'll get it centered. And it might seem like, you know, an eighth of an inch or less isn't very much. But remember, we're working in 112 scale. That blows it up by 12 times. So we really need to be careful about getting things straight. So I'm going to put some glue on here. I don't know why my hands are shaking today. It's a mystery to me. Probably has something to do with the headache I woke up with. All right. Now, hopefully I'm standing, so hopefully I won't get my head in your way. A little heavy-handed on my glue. It's really good. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this one with a little less glue. I wanted to squeeze out a little, but not quite that much. And this little notch is important. Uh, hopefully the camera's picking up that notch. That is what the arch that decorates the top of the porch is going to fit into. It'll slot into there. So I'm going to have to make sure that I don't have glue down in that. So when I get all when I get this glue partially set, I will make sure it's cleaned out of there. All right, I am going to turn the camera off. I'm going to double check that these are lined up really well so I don't have to pull them apart and redo them. And then when this glue is set up enough it's not moving, we'll come back and we'll glue these on. All right, hopefully this glue is set up enough that I can move these around without any problems. So let's see how these sit. Once again, I'm going to be marking that. Get my glue on the end. So I hope you're enjoying this series on building the Beachside Bungalow. I'm really looking forward to getting this done. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of you have reached out and said that the, You've either purchased this house or have thought about it, or have already built it, so thank you for that. Always love to hear from you guys. Might not always get back to you right away, but I do read all the messages. I don't always have time to respond, although I am trying to be better about that. All right. And you can see by having those little X's there, it just makes it so much easier to line everything up. All right, we're going to let that dry and then we can do some painting of primer. So I'll be back when these are dry enough to prime.
All right, the glue has dried enough now that I am going to start priming. I'm going to leave this, this area not primed. I am going to prime the bottom, however. They won't, the edges of this, I'm not sure, the very edges might show. So I'm going to start right here. I want to get up in there. You want to make sure you coat all the way into that crevice where the two pieces come together. Um, you don't want so much that you get drips though. And make sure you get the edges of that cap piece. Once again, I'll show you on the first one, and then I'll turn the camera off, I'll get the second one done, get my brush cleaned up, and then I'll come back when this is parsed, dry enough that I can handle it again, and we'll talk about what we've done, and talk about what's going to come next week. So let's get this part done. I must say, the quality of wood in this kit is really nice. I am impressed with that. The directions are good. Uh, I don't... Like I said, I don't always do things the order that they say, simply because I've done dollhouses before, and I have an idea what works for me. And like I said last week, if that causes problems, then we'll work on how to fix those problems together. This edge, and then, all right, turn it over. And I'm not too worried about where I wrote the name of the part on this or those lines because those areas are not going to show a lot. All right, I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to catch these drips over on this side. And then when I'm all done and this is set up a while, I'll be back. All right, these have had overnight to dry. And you can see where the primer has soaked into the wood considerably. So that will save my good paint. So these are done. We have our porch posts, our porch post bases, and our porch railings all assembled and primed. I hope you enjoyed this week's um, video. Be sure and check the blog post and find me on Facebook. Uh, and come back next week and see what we do then. We're going to start doing some assembling and some priming of some of the bigger pieces. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.